hello to my fourth tutorial this one won't be a prank virus but it will actually be a virus that spreads but uh, doesn't have any malicious code in it uh, it only copies itself um, with random number and random extension with random number for a name and random number for an extension because uh, there cannot be two same files uh, in a one folder now you all know how to make a batch file now this is the code if you don't know how to make batch file see my previous movies I explained there now this echo of I also explained it in my previous movies and here is cd command uh, change directory to user profile desktop uh, now this because uh, it's in percent it's a variable uh, and user profile holds uh, the path to the um, users folder where all his documents and everything is in that folder um, uh, in including the desktop so I went to his desktop now on uh, his desktop there um, this program will create a folder named virus and then it will go to this folder virus now here's a label definition and copy command percent zero that means he will copy himself you know uh, virus for dot bat uh, percent zero always means that he will copy his data percent random percent dot percent random percent uh, random is uh, also a variable but uh, it's made by computer uh, this uh, command I mean name or something uh, actually um, makes the name a random number and after the dot this one makes the name uh, extension the random number and now so that there's no output to the um, screen go to A save it I will now run it uh, see here in this corner there will after I terminated uh, there will be a um, folder virus now it's running see nothing in uh, I already not run for 10 seconds now 5 4 3 2 1 ok now we see this virus now uh, he spread it himself to this folder 3000 almost 4000 times in in like 10 seconds it's a lot but it's different on other computers because someone has faster CPUs someone slowest uh, slower uh, CPUs and um, uh, see what's in the folder see in the folder there are uh, random numbers for name and random for extension so none of the files uh, is exact um, we will now also make um, uh, a new bat file we will name it uh, bat c bat creator yes edit it and type in echo off um rin rin is the command for rename um percent random percent now any extension that it will have it will change it uh to uh
BAT like this uh, I also try to make uh, without this that it would be like this random random percent but because uh, there are so many files and it has to get two different combinations it's uh, almost impossible to make like uh, several files um, change its extension to BAT. Um, I let it run for like a minute or something and not even one file changed. Uh, now save it. Um, nope, don't save it. <laughs> also make this a loop because otherwise it would only rename var1 or it wouldn't even rename anything yes now save now run it see uh, most of the outputs is the system cannot find the file specified but you, I don't know if you will see but I think you will something goes mi uh, true very fast uh, that is a different text that actually says that the file was renamed um, and now I'll terminate it and arrange icons by type uh, see there are so many BAT files now. Um, it changed approximately. I'll just it changed in I don't know what ten fifty seconds, approximately a thousand and. Uh, a thousand and a hundred files um, to BAT. So now I will make another batch file, but this one will delete files. Delete B. Um, Now this one will delete uh, with either extension with BAT or a random number as long as the computer gets the right name. Uh, go to A. Now let me see. Uh, this this folder now holds 4,000 files uh, and. When we let this one run, one, two, three, four, five, six, second, no, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's see how many files are there. Um, now there are see 3000 files in like 20 or 50 seconds uh, this program deleted uh, almost a thousand files uh, thanks for watching and I hope it's entertaining <laughs>